Now we're gonna put the shepherd's pie together. It's pretty simple. I just wanna show you the pans we use. Yep, these are uh, just standard chafing pans, uh, 10 and a half by eight inches. Uh, you can steam with them, but we just like having them and then we double we double them up just in case there's still. It's also nice if it has this cover that goes on top. Nice. So, pretty basic stuff right there. Yeah. That's what we like to use. We know it fits. You can actually put two in there. I wouldn't recommend it in the pizza oven, but uh, they, with, you could fit them up to three inches high, I think three and a half inches high. That one, says two inches deep, but it's actually with the rim and everything, probably three inches high. Um, then you need salt and pepper, uh, a medium to large chopped onion, depending on how much you like, uh, ground beef, cream style corn. I like the Green Giants. It's my favorite in any recipe that I use. Lowry's seasoned salt, paprika, and we cheat, we use the already made mashed potatoes. And I think you're just gonna need a one, uh, one two pound uh, container of them. And we're gonna put it together for you and be back with you when we're ready to bake. The first step to making the shepherd's pie is browning the ground beef and onions together with a little salt and pepper. You can use butter or olive oil to brown it. Once it's all browned, you wanna drain off any of the excess fat. So what we did here is we added olive oil just to grease the pan a little bit and then mixed in the cream style corn. I topped it with the Lowry season salt, just sprinkle it all over the top and then stir it in to mix it. Uh, we went ahead and cooked the potatoes as per the instructions on the box. Um, halfway through we stirred them. I like to get the potatoes nice and hot so they're easy to spread. So the next step, we're gonna go ahead and spread the potatoes and get it all ready and finalized. So now we topped the potatoes onto the casserole. We noticed that this size dish required two two pound containers of the already made mashed potatoes. And you cook those again as per the instructions on the box. Um, we topped it and then I add a few butter pats all over to give the potatoes like a crispy um, feel to them as they're cooking. And then we topped it with paprika. So we're going to go ahead and uh, fire up the Camp Chef oven and try to get our temperature to about 375. So we'll get that going and then we'll pop this in the oven and test it out. We're back and ready to bake the shepherd's pie. So what we did is we turned on the oven. Go ahead and tell them what you did for the preheating, Steve. Put a, turn it on to high uh, until it caught, you know, it started a nice steady flame and then lowered it to medium for about uh, five minutes. And that took it to uh, right around 370, 380. What are we at now? Uh, then I lowered it to low because it kept going. So I lowered it to low and I uh, got it to uh, 365 right now. And then we're also going to use our digital thermometer here. I'll let you see the reading on that. I'm going to lower the door for me. Oh, it's bouncing. What is it at? Three, 337, 349, 350. Okay. So it's pretty accurate. So what we want is the oven to be about to simulate what I would put it in a regular oven, about 300 to, uh, 350, I'm sorry, to, to 375. So Steve's going to go ahead and pop it in there right in the middle. And our plan is to shut the door like it would be a real oven and cook it for, we're going to let it bake for about 10 minutes. And then we're going to go ahead and pull it out and rotate it. Uh, just turn it the complete opposite way and check it out. So we'll be back in 10. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. We're going to go ahead and check the shepherd's pie. We try to keep the temperature below 400 and Steve decided that he's going to try a little trick of cracking open the door uh, and that worked nicely in uh, letting us. So this is what it looks like 10 minutes in. So we're gonna go ahead and flip it. And now the back will become the front and the front will be the back. 
Uh, only because we want to see, in case there's different temperatures in that oven, we want to be able to have it bake. Um, so we're going to go ahead and pop it back in. We have the grill setting set to low, and uh, we crack the door about this much, just to keep the temperature below 400. We're going to go ahead and cook it another 10 minutes. temperature now with the door cracked and taking it off and putting it on. Uh, we did notice that the uh, temperature gauge at the top of the oven is fairly accurate according to the temperature on our digital. So uh, that's really good. So we'll give it another 10 minutes but so far it looks like it's working really well. All right we're back and it's been 20 minutes after the uh, 10 minute flip time. Total 20 minutes. We're going to pull it out and take a look at it. That looks good. That looks good. So it's good just like this, but what we like to do is we like to top it with just a mix of cheddar cheese, any kind of cheddar cheese. You could use any cheese that you like. This happens to be a taco seasoning cheese. And that's probably three quarters of a cup right there. You could put as much in as little as you like. And then we go ahead and top it with the French's crispy onions, the fried onions. And again, you could use as little or as much as you like. And this recipe, we only used a pound of ground beef, but you could easily put two pounds of ground beef uh, in there. Uh, I wouldn't use two cans of cream style corn. If you do um, two pounds of meat, I would put uh, one can of cream style corn and one can of regular uh, kernel corn, a whole kernel of corn. So we're gonna go ahead and close that and cook it for another three minutes just to melt the cheese and get the onions all nice and crispy. And what's your temperature? 385. 385. So you want to keep it under 400, and we've been doing really well with that, with the grill temperature on low. Sorry, right here. It's on lowest setting. The lowest setting, and the door cracked a little like that. So we'll give it three minutes to melt the cheese, and we'll be right back with the final product. We let it go two minutes. We saw that the onions were getting crispy, so just two minutes there. We'll pull it out. <coughs> be all done. And there you have it, the final product. Now that you see uh, coming up there is the creamed corn because there's so much creamed corn and uh, uh, to the ground beef ratio. But I think if you went ahead and put two pounds of ground beef, um, it would be perfect. It would absorb more into that but it looks perfect, it's gonna be yummy. Uh, the oven works great. We're excited about using it for different casseroles and um, it's gonna be great at the campsite. So uh, all in all, we're really, really happy with it. I hope you are too. 